Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 7 of We Happy Few. So, this time it actually worked that we started in the middle of the street where we left off yesterday, although I quit the game in the meantime. I actually gave it some thought of what to do next, because we still have some... We still have some side quests to find out, and those are two side quests where they should they tell us that we should come by at night for flower picking and for the duck soup. Actually, my idea was now it's 6.55 p.m. in game, and um, I was thinking that maybe we could go back to our safe house, rest up a bit, and then come back a little bit later. So we can we can find out what those night quests are about and if they're maybe it's something interesting, maybe it's not. I would like to to um to at least take a look at, at the quests at the side quests before we continue with the main quest because I don't know if, if the main quest is good, maybe we want to follow it up a little bit, think about those. And we're here already. Um I don't wanna come back that much further in the game. We're here now, so let's try to so let's try to do all the side quests now. Okay, so I'll just head back to our shelter. Or maybe do we have can we sleep in someone else's bed? I don't know. Oh no, that's the trapped house. Okay, I'll just go back to the safe house. Um So, yeah. I guess this is going to be a kind of boring way, so I'll just cut cut it out and um Okay, there was a quick loading screen there. I'll just cut it out of the uh, I'll just cut it out of the video and I'll see you in a bit. Of course, Percy never cared much that he didn't fit in. I'm not sure he even knew what fitting in was. Okay. Back underground. It's already 7.36 p.m. So that was quite a long walk that we did. Didn't feel that way. I'm just going to take a quick look. If we should drop something off from our inventory. We already have a lot of cloth straps again. So probably... Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna load um, some stuff off, then I'll go to sleep for a few hours, and then I'll see you very soon. Sleep, the poor man's dinner. Jean's father, old Edward Bear. They had barely enough food to feed themselves, but it was enough. Every morning, Henry Bear had a big bowl of porridge because he was big, and Jane had a medium sized bowl because she was medium sized. Okay, so we woke up again and I wanted to drink something. Ah, I need to press it. I also saw, saw that oh, we're a little low on health. Maybe I'm gonna heal up a little bit. So, the healing bomb. Luckily we have enough of those rose petals to craft more. Okay, so... Let's go upstairs again. And let's have a look at the map. So, um, so we're looking for the quests flower picking and the duck soup. And I think they were both here. Okay, so that's the flower picking and this is duck soup. Wait, what was this one? I think it said that we should come back a few days later. Ah, it was a mysterious chest. Wait a day or two. So that didn't happen. So let's go to the soup first. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. So this one. Okay. Oh. 
there's someone here. I didn't know that they were... There are guards patrolling here at night. Or did we do something? Because they weren't here during the day. I'll just sneak by. Just sneak beside them. They don't seem to see me. Okay. Ooh, they're everywhere. I just wonder what this yellow square up there is with my compass. Because I... Do I see a symbol of his here? Oh wait, this was the legend. No, because it also doesn't say anything on the legend, so I don't know what it means. Or is it maybe the, the waypoint indicator? Yeah, it seems to align with, with our waypoint down here, so maybe it's this one. It's just a different color and shape. Okay, so it seems that this place is patrolled by night. So, are they here too? No, inside the town they're not. It seems. So maybe I'll just cut through here. Because it seems to be safe here. Okay, I think we can run here. No one will see us. Hmm. Oh, are those those pink flowers that we couldn't harvest during the day? Night blooming and such. Those are pretty. Oh. Those are almost too pretty to pick. Oh. Okay, so we're in... We're in sight again. But those are really pretty flowers. Okay, but these guys, they seem to just walk forward, so... I don't know. Oops, there's also one. Hmm. What is this? Okay, no. I'll just... Let's just make our way to our waypoint. Oh, okay. Now we're hungry, too. Um, well, then. I'll just eat. I'll just eat one of the blue currants. Oops. Oh. Okay. Um Yeah, so maybe we can cross straight. Ah, there's the there's a chest. It's already twelve AM in the morning, so if this is not the middle of the night then what is? We're still five hundred meters away, so I kind of, kind of want to hurry up now. Didn't even watch while crossing the street. Bloody so. hell. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but... This is kind of a long way. Oh, no. Oops. Yeah, more of those flowers. But I can't pick them. Okay. These are so pretty. Okay. So... 
Maybe I should sit down for a bit. Uh, no, we have to hurry. <laughs> yeah, so we're off the street now, so there shouldn't be a lot of trouble being spotted here. And we can go pick some more flowers. Okay. We should be there in, in a minute. If we don't get stuck on a rock. Oh, we already been in this house. This was the mine house. Just wondering because it was so colorful and there was a light upstairs. But we've already been there. Hmm. Dark soup? But where are they? Maybe they forage during the day. I should come back at night. I don't understand why he's saying this at this point, because I don't even think we're near this mission. Oh, I'm trespassing again. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we are. Oh no, this is a duck soup thing. Okay. Duck soup. Mm. Nothing like duck soup. Hello there, Richard Kerr. What about your duck soup? You all right? Oh, that. It's a very clever decoy. You see, if a duck sees another duck resting on a pond. It assumes that pond is safe. The stew is our pond. The moment a duck lands in our stew, we can skin it and cook it. A decoy for a duck? Are you joking? Ducks aren't going to land in a stew, no matter how long you stand around quacking. Ducks are smarter than you think. They know things. I also don't think that a duck would fall for this. I'm sorry, Richard. That was your name, wasn't it? Oh well. I see the ducky as a sign that we haven't given up hope. Hope is the thing with feathers, you know. Ridiculous. Hope's got nothing to do with it. It's a thermometer is all. We don't want the stew to boil. That'll ruin it. Oh, that! It's a thermometer. When the stew gets hot enough, the ducky spreads its wings. Amazing, really. No, it's not. It's a decoy. It's a decoy, for heaven's sake. The ducky? It's our lost childhood. Once upon a time, we had duckies, but we haven't had duckies for a long time. Now, at least, we can finally have our ducky again. Lost childhood? Are you still living in the past? Don't you think it's time to grow up? All right. You know what? We're never going to agree. <clears throat> oh no, the duck. Is it stealing? Ah, I'd rather not take it. So, yeah. We need to look for the duck. Okay, so apparently they put a rubber duck in the stew pot and to everyone else, it, to everyone it was a different kind of symbol. I mean, one guy thought that maybe a real duck would land in the soup or maybe that was the idea. So now we have to go look for the duck and here it is. Hello there, rubber duck. That is a terribly charismatic duck. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Okay, what is your idea now? Yeah, your name was Richard. Oh, I think we have to prepare for the worst. We've been fooling ourselves making duck stew with a rubber duck. We all know there's less and less food in the garden district every day. We need to escape. Or we need to figure out how to survive the apocalypse. I still can't believe we thought that duck was our saviour. Have we lost our minds? I suppose we must have done. 
17 years of joy do that to you. She's right. That duck wasn't our saviour. It was a hell duck. It was leading us to, to madness and death. Thank God you made us throw it away. I remember staring into its dead, cold eyes and thinking it loved me. But it didn't, did it? It wanted to possess our souls. That duck took everything from us, and it gave nothing in return. How could we have trusted it? That duck haunts my dreams. Its soft, downy feathers and mad little eyes. It sneered at us. Why? Why did it hate us so? Thank you for making Richard throw away the ducky. You took the veil from our eyes. Now we see clearly. Here, we want you to have this. It's everything we know about this place. I hope it helps you. Oh, wow. So their opinion changed very quick. Probably it wasn't too healthy to cook rubber in a stew also, but yeah, so first Duck was their savior, but now that they thought about it a little bit more, some now also interpret it as just the duck was the bad one. That just the duck was making them do evil things or something like that. So apparently we know a lot now about this place. Or do we not? I don't know. What did we learn new? Is there any new document? No. Okay. So I actually always thought that this mission was to do with this house. But it was over there. So... I was actually a little bit interested in what was in there. Oh! We don't even need to craft a lockpick. Okay. Is this another... Is this another safe house? Yeah, it is! Oh. We had known that before. Well, I, I had a suspicion last time that we checked. But I couldn't find it anywhere and then I was scared that something bad would happen if we broke that lock or something because I also thought that it would, was connected to this duck soup thing. Um, yeah, so we have a new safe house, but it's only... Or is there a bed? Yes, this is a bed also. I was... We don't really need a workbench now or anything, but it is good to have it. So let's just now I can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Oh yes, that's good. Now we also don't have to walk all the way back if when we are done here and want to pursue the main quest. So and now we are off to flower picking. Okay, so this is a much closer distance. Oh, this is the one... This was the place where... Where we got stoned. This one is empty, we already found that. Oh! Oh no! That was reckless. Okay. Whoa! What's happening here? What is happening here? 
Can I join? Oh no! What? Really? I have to steal some flowers? There are enough outside! Well, for the mission's sake. Oops! Oh, how did I get up here? No, 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 no! No, 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 no. We'll laugh about this later. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I can't die because of some flower bushes. No. Oh no, we don't have any. So, do they see us now too? We're pretty far away. There's only three more of them who want to find us. Two. One. Okay, leave. Yes. Very good. Okay, but I should definitely craft some more of the healing bomb. We have enough of the roses, so... Just need to craft it. Okay. So, let's use it. Ooh. Good. Really, that's all there was to it. I mean, we already picked five of those flowers before. I'm still in the room again in the wrong section. That was it. We already picked five of those before in the open field and then we almost got killed by some crazy fanatics. Okay. But we're done. Mysterious chest is still not available probably. So I'm gonna check one last time. We have four bobby pins, so we definitely have enough lockpicks, and I definitely need to keep that in mind. We have nine points available, so um, I'm definitely going to spend five on the ear to the ground, probably. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to save those four up, or, are there anything, or is there anything better that we should... Unarmed hits to the head. Nah, I don't know. Those are already five. Nope. Nope. No. No. At the moment, I don't want to spend those four. See, there are another... There are so many flowers over there. Why <laughs> wasn't it enough? Okay. So, here we are again. And... um. I would definitely like to pursue now the main quest because I think we've finished it all. Although I don't know what hive mind is. I don't know why it's marked on our map. But it's not a quest, so I don't know. So what we're gonna do is I'll walk back to our newest safe house. Then I'll teleport back to the older one. And then we're gonna pursue the Scottish play. We have enough lockpicks now that... I should definitely come inside, so... Anyway, uh, let's get here. Nope. Oh, what's this? Can I automatically... Can I auto-travel to my hatch? Let's just try this out for a sec. Memories cowering from the bombs with Mum, Dad, and Percy. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we can walk to this hatch. One of these days, I really ought to explore those caves. Okay, here we are again. And now... 
we can go upstairs. There's still all those guards here. Ah, I I think I wanna take away my waypoint now. Okay, so that's where we need to go next. Oh no. And again, so many flowers just for picking, and no one would have minded, but... Okay. And I still don't know what to do with those. I'll just gather them, although they're so pretty, I would rather leave them on the bushes, but I guess they will come in handy if you only can pick them at night. There must be something special that you can do with them. He won't see me if I sneak here, right? So, when do you turn around? Oh, you already turned around. That's good. Okay, are we... Bridge to Ravensholm. Infiltrators and spies will be shot. Will I get in trouble? If I do this. Oh no, he said Ollie said that he would take care of the people. Yeah, so they're sleeping. Okay. I kind of don't want to spend our lockpicks now because I'm afraid that I will lose track when we have the same problem again that we don't have lockpicks, so I'm just gonna press this button, it doesn't nothing. But infiltrators and spies will be bayoneted. Okay. Now you two bloody listen to me, alright? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time. Okay, they and seem they to realize. They don't seem to realize anything. They're all asleep Cumber. except for him. He's kind but of. When they're in a he seems drunk. And this one, what did Ollie and give them? In exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts okay. And the oh, no, I just took a rotten mushroom. Steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud. And skin comes off his back like he was peeling a tree. So, no, I don't want to lock that. Uh, maybe this was my downfall, that I locked too many doors here the last time I was here. <sighs> this one too. Can't we get in through a window or something? There's a ladder upstairs, so... I don't know. Shall we go in there or not? Let's just keep this in mind. Maybe we'll have to come back later or something. He's asleep too. No fucking oh. civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. Oh wow. I guess he was tired. Okay, so there are, there are two guards over there. We need to go over there. No. Will they see us this far away? No, they don't. Okay, so we need to get somewhere there in the back. So apparently I've already been here before because I was and yeah, didn't work out that well. But apparently here they also don't have any more guards at night patrolling around. So 
There's not much happening here. This is the door where we later have to enter. And I'm just walking here because... Wasn't there a memory here before? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Okay, here we go. Do you ever wonder why the Germans didn't take their tanks with them when they left? I've made a map. There's a hole in the fence, inside the dump. You just have to get in here, get the key, and cut the power. Then, sneak out into the darkness while I rob them blind. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. How do I cut the power? The general keeps the keys in his desk. You want me to break into the general's office? Any way you can scotch the power is fine by me, lad. I'll meet you back at the train station. What if they spot me? I'd run. They don't have a lot of ammunition, but they're terribly handy with their bayonets. That's your plan B? Run? Well, you could ask them for some of their famous hot buttered crumpets, but I wouldn't recommend it. They can't run very fast. They're all old farts, like me. Right, Ollie. Let's see that map you made. Well, that is definitely reassuring and sound like a bulletproof plan. So, a moonshine recipe, two bags of sugar, fire, water, etc. This is also very mm, precise. Look at all those tanks. Sally and I used to go and stare at them. Wonder if they were fun to drive. She wanted to be a rocket ship pilot, but I think a tank would have made her reasonably happy. The grown-ups tried very hard never to be somewhere they could see the tanks or the military camp. And, it being out in the rubble, that wasn't too hard for them. I wonder why the Germans left them behind. I mean, once they had the kids. Didn't they need the tanks because the Soviets were smashing them to pieces in the east? There's a very real chance I shall go and get myself killed. It's an odd sensation. On the one hand, I'm absolutely terrified. On the other hand, I haven't had any adventures since Sally fucked off. I used to think I'd run into her. How have I never run into her? It's been 14 years. I want her to explain to me how she could ever have done that. And I don't want to. I want to forget the whole horrible sordid thing and be the two musketeers again. I used to have a whole speech memorized. Or maybe she's already got a new musketeer. A girl like Sally makes new friends so easily. The lads across the street would literally stop talking and watch her go by. She always got a kick out of that. Oh Christ, this is not what I signed up for when I went off Joy. All I wanted to do was get the hell out. I mean to find Percy. Can't I bloody pick and choose what memories I get back? Well, if I get bayoneted to death, problem solved. So there's that. Oh, so apparently something happened. Only sleeping between... motion for those chaps on the bridge. So apparently there happened something between Sally and Arthur. So we are supposed to go in there, but Molly said there was a hole in the fence in the dump. That sounds much safer than walking in by the front gate. Yeah, that's it. But, um, I already know from my past adventures here that there is a side quest somewhere a little further. Oh no. Oops. I'm being reckless again. We just got the recipe for um, Ollie's moonshine and I haven't really figured out how to use it so far but there is a side quest where we can um, where we can produce it ourselves and fill a few bottles with it so so far all I realized is that we can drink it ourselves which I don't really want to but maybe we could 
maybe we could use it later or something like that as I don't know poison got darts or something I don't know so actually as far yeah so because I know that this is a side quest I So, I know that this is a side quest and I want to do all the side quests and so I already found it and I don't want to leave it out here. Because I already did it and... but I didn't save it. So, I already stole two bags of sugar from somewhere. Oh, there's someone here. Is it just him? Oh, okay. I think I know where he is. Oh, yeah, and there was a water a water pump where we can fill up our canteens. So, will you come out here? Now, finish the whiskey, your majesty. You can camp out on the throne the rest of the bloody night. Come on, get up. I don't want to kill you. I just want to put you to sleep. That was close. Oh, please don't struggle. So, we already have a bag of sugar from one of our other adventures, but I already know that there's some bag of some sugar here as well, so let's take it too. And a rifle with a bayonet, so we can bayonet back. So, then we want to fill a container. We want to fill all our containers and another one and another one. Oh wow we have a lot of canteens okay so now we are out of canteens good okay so Yeah, this is the only thing we can do right now, so I guess that was the start. Now we need to add sugar, so this. And I think the next is that we need to gather some mushrooms. Oh no, first we need to increase the water flow. So this. And now we need to find those mushrooms. And I think they were somewhere over there, because there was a bog. Um... Oh, I already thought I thought that the stone was a per this tree was a person. Okay, so there's no one here. This is the bog where there are some weird mushrooms growing. I'm just gonna take all of them that I can find. So hello there, Vincent Ferris. You have nothing on you. Why is it stealing? I'm just Okay, so I have enough mushrooms now, but I want to keep those too, because who knows? Maybe we'll need them. Maybe there's something else that can be made with it. So, now we go back to the distillery. And then we add those mushrooms. Then we fill some bottles with it. So, here we add the mushrooms. Okay, now we decrease the heat on the furnace. This one again. And now we decrease the water flow again. Very good. Now through here we can fill some bottles with it. I'm just gonna take a few because why not? We made it, so. I received water filter plants. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. So, yeah, just let's do one more. And then I think we're gonna make a quick break. 
and the next episode we will continue by going in. This time we will actually manage to go in, we have enough lockpicks. And yeah, then we will try again to be as sneaky as possible. I hope I hit the wrong button. I no, I hope that I hit the right buttons. I hope that I do not hit the wrong buttons. So there's nothing back here. I don't know what kind of unsettles me is that I think there was a memory. It could have been that could be collected, but there isn't apparently. So maybe I just remembered it wrong. So, welcome to the dump and um, I'll see you next episode where you're gonna enter the dump. Thank you for watching and see you.